What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a quick comparison between Cool One and Lenovo P2. Let's start with the similarities. Both the phones have dual sim support with dual 4G, World T support out of the box and we have all the basic sensors including LED notification light, OTG support, we even have gyroscope to watch VR content, a 5.5 inch Full HD display and a similar audio experience on headset. Both the phones do an okay job. Now let's see where each phone excels. I'll start with P2. You get a Super AMOLED display which is amazing and has better brightness levels. Cool One has an IPS display and its brightness levels are below average. Next we have a massive 5100mAh battery with fast charging. It can be charged completely in 90 minutes and it will give you 10 hours plus of screen on time. Cool One comes with a 4000mAh battery and gives you a screen on time of 6 to 8 hours depending upon your usage. There is no fast charging technology and it takes 2 and a half hours to charge completely. In terms of battery life, you can consider it as a tie. Because most of the time, if a phone lasts you more than a day, it's more than enough. But P2 has the additional advantage of fast charging and it has a micro USB port. So you don't need to buy a new cable or it isn't a problem if you forget your charger while traveling. Cool One has a Type-C port, it's future proof. But now you need to buy an adapter for OTG pen drives and you need to carry a cable in case you're traveling. It's more about convenience. Next, P2 comes with ultimate power saving mode and a dedicated button to enable it. Once you enable this mode, you can't do anything except make calls and messages. It kills all the background applications and gives you basic features and keeps your phone alive for a very very long time. It's a great feature to have when you're low on battery. Cool One doesn't have anything like this. Next, P2 comes with a super responsive UI. Now having better processor without proper software is like having a useless sports car. It's the exact same situation here. Though P2 comes with a mid-range processor, it is able to perform better than Cool One. You can check out the results of my speed test for more information. For regular usage, P2 is much more responsive and faster than Cool One. Next we have a fast fingerprint scanner. It is as fast as other flagships, but in comparison with Cool One, it is super fast. Because Cool One's fingerprint scanner is slow when the display is off. When the display is on, it's fast, but most of the time the display is off when we try to unlock it. So P2 wins in terms of fingerprint scanner too. Next we have more software features on P2. Both the phones have a skinned version on top of Android Marshmallow. P2 has all the features found in Cool One and offers lot more like dual apps, VR mode, secure zone, fingerprint gestures and more. Check out my video on best features of Lenovo P2 for more information on that. Next we have better design and build. Just based on looks. Both the phones have similar build with metal back with plastic strips but Cool One's design is flawed. Volume buttons on Cool One are not very clickable and it's slightly uncomfortable and hard to press. P2 doesn't have any such flaws and it feels much better to hold. Now design and build are subjective so you can take my opinion with a pinch of salt. Next we have loudspeakers. Both the phones come with mono speaker under the right grille and comparatively P2 speaker is much louder than Cool One. If you hear them side by side you can easily notice the difference. Next we have better gaming experience on P2. Now Cool One definitely has better CPU and GPU. Cool One will give you better visuals but it heats up a lot. The maximum temperature I've seen was 56 degrees. P2 has decent CPU and decent GPU. I didn't notice any lag while playing games and it didn't heat up as much as Cool One. Maximum I've seen is 44 degrees. Next we have SD card support. P2 comes with a hybrid SIM slot so you can insert two nano SIMs or a nano SIM and an SD card. On Cool One, we don't have any such option to insert an SD card. So if you want additional storage, then P2 is the only choice among the two. Now let's see what Cool One has to offer. It has a powerful processor and GPU. Cool One comes with a Snapdragon 652 processor and P2 comes with a Snapdragon 625 processor and these are the benchmark scores. Now I already said, P2 has a much more responsive UI. So where does Cool One excel? That might be your question. Once you install more than 100 apps, P2 will start to slow down, especially when you are trying to switch between applications. And at that time, Cool One will still run smoothly. Besides that, Cool One will be faster at installing and uninstalling apps, rendering videos, basically anything that requires a lot of processing. Next we have way better cameras. This is the strong point of Cool One. Cool One's cameras are simply much better than P2. It offers a classic mode to take black and white images, SLR mode and 4K video recording. Additional to that, it has better dynamic range, wide angle lenses on both the front and rear cameras. On the whole, images from Cool One look better than P2. I'll post a camera comparison soon, so stay tuned for that. 
By the way, P2 does a decent job too, but it's nowhere near Cool One and doesn't justify the price. Next, we have IR Blaster. Cool One comes with an IR Blaster and we can use it to control your AC or TV or any gadget with an infrared receiver. This is something completely missing in P2. Comparatively, P2 has NFC, which is missing in Cool One. Cool One sold online comes with 4GB RAM and because of that, it offers better multitasking experience. Even 3GB of RAM is good on P2, but in relative terms, 4GB of RAM is always better than 3GB of RAM. And that's all Cool One has to offer. Without proper software, even a supercomputer is useless. That's what I think. Irrespective of what's under the hood, P2 delivers much more responsive UI than Cool One. So if you're a regular user who wants a good phone, with huge battery, great display, loudspeaker, and most importantly, a very responsive phone by Lenovo P2. If your priority is better cameras and better performance, then buy Cool One. If it was me, I'll pick P2 over Cool One any day. Even if the software was improved on Cool One, I don't want to use it because of the volume buttons and the slow fingerprint scanner. I know P2 is pricey, but for the experience it offers, it is definitely worth it. And among the two phones, I'll say spend some more money and get P2 and ignore the difference in cameras because you can't get everything in a single phone. So what will you do? Which one will you pick and why? Let me know by commenting below this video. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, hit that like button and if you didn't, hit that dislike button and watch these suggested videos and if you have any comments, complaints or want us to make any specific video, let us know and we will make it as soon as possible. Subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech every day. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.